Find the slope of each line by counting the rise and run, then drag the slope to the correct graph. So we're looking for the rate of change and we're just going to figure that out by counting. So for example, this first graph, we're trying to unitize here. It goes down to and then right one, down to, right one, and so forth. So this down two is represented by negative two and the right one is positive one. So this means our slope here is negative two over one or just negative two. So that means this guy is going to go here. So look at this next one. Up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, and so on and so forth. So the rate of change here is one over one, which also means the slope is one over one, which is simply one. So m equals one, that one goes over here. And this guy down here, down one, right one, down, right one, down one, right one, and so on and so forth. So this one, your slope m, is negative 1 over 1. Because you're going down 1, which is why you have a negative here. The denominator is going to be positive, which is just going to the right. So the slope here, m, equals negative 1, because negative 1 divided by positive 1 is negative 1. So this slope goes with this graph here. Let's take a look at the last one. Up to right 1 up to right one, up to right one. So your slope m is two over one, which is simply two. So there you go, that's how you figure out the rate of change or the slope of a graph. And then you can match them up accordingly.